showing you how to use HLDJ in CSGO. Uh, I don't know how to do a Team Fortress 2 or whatever, like that portal, whatever. Uh, I'm just showing you how to do a CSGO. This is how I do it. It's not the same as everyone, but I find this is the easiest way. I Some of the videos I kind of follow along. But with that said, I will link you to a Steam post about how to use HLDJ. It's text, so maybe if you have an easier time going at your own pace, reading it, following the instructions, maybe you'll choose that way. But here we go, starting with the video. The websites you're going to use is hldj.org. It's going to bring you to this home site, but just click downloads. And depending on what type of windows you have, do 6432. I did 64. Uh, that's just what I have. So you're also going to need Audacity. And if you want to use this way to convert MP3, uh, MP3 videos to MP3, just use this website. It's safe. Just don't click on any big download signs. So these are all the links. Uh, I will link them down in the description if you don't feel safe about typing them in and messing it up. I'll do that for you guys. And we're going to start out with once you install it, it's going to install in your downloads. You're going to go, it's going to be in a zip file, a zip folder. Just open it up, HLDJ, hit extract all. It's going to make an unzipped folder, and typically in the same place where you. So if it's downloads, it'll still be in downloads, the unzipped folder. If you want to move this to music or, I don't know, wherever you want to, um, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. It'll just kind of change how everything is routed. So, yeah, you're going to load up HLDJ. But before that, um, I don't know if the audio folder is there by default, but I made one. I'm pretty sure it is because it has capital A and everything else doesn't. So make a folder where you're going to keep all your stuff. I named it audio. It doesn't really matter uh, what you name it, just as long as you know where to find all of them. But you better have them as MP3s. And with Audacity, if you try to save it as an MP3, I, I don't know, the wave didn't really work. It didn't pick up. Both Audacity, it's going to need you to download this other thing to help convert it into MP3s. Um, this is like the thing is, with Audacity, you actually need to change the speed. That's why you need to keep it as MP3 so you can export it like that. Um, that's just why, like even though this is MP3, the thing is with uh, CSGO is it will play your music twice as fast. So to compensate that, we needed to use Audacity. Also, if you want to record your own things, um, that's why you can use it here. So that's what is up with Audacity. So once we're in... Don't need to need to open that. Get out of here. So once we're here, um, you're gonna load up HLDJ, and with this, you're gonna actually have to choose this little button that's gonna be here. That's gonna select games, and you should let HLDJ select your games for you, um, because you're not to actually look for the application to click on them. They'll just take too much time that you don't need to waste. So just let HLDJ find them for you. Uh, we're obviously going to do CSGO. It's going to give you some settings here, um, and one of the big ones is the play key. Uh, I chose mine as N because N doesn't have any purpose in Counter-Strike, so I chose N. You can do any of the function keys, so F1, F2, F3, and so on, all the way up to F12. I'm pretty sure F12 or F11 is take a picture or screenshot, so probably don't do that. And pro the reason why I chose N is it's kind of easy to reach. so. You know, you don't have to reach up here if you need to play music all of a sudden. So, that's why I did the N. I, I recommend doing the same thing. Unless you have N bound to something like, to say, uh, something stupid in game. But, that's why I have N chosen. So, yeah. So, once you do that, you're going to go to your audio converter. You're going to need to choose where all your audio is located. So, figure that where... The, figure out where that is uh, for me and if you follow the same thing I'm doing it's downloads HLDJ unzipped folder uh, HLDJ again not and then audio so or whatever you name your folder as mp3 anything uh, sounds music whatever uh, just click that okay and then what I do is I copy and paste it some people they have an mp3 and then an audio folder that complicated it a little too much so I just have the same folder and it works so yeah volume I suppose 50 or something 
uh, I've noticed that actually the volume does change, not for you, but for other people. And um, they, when I loaded it just like this, they said the audio was extremely loud when it was 85, so I suppose 50 or something. Uh, quality best, you know, you don't want to sound like you have a potato mic. Uh, I'm not going to hit play just because it takes a while. I have 17 of them, and I don't want to sit here for like two minutes. It does only take two minutes, but if you have a really long thing, it'll take a long time. Especially if you have a bunch of songs or a really long audio file, uh, it'll take a while. So, I'll really show you how to actually make your own MP3 uh, files. So, we're going to go to Audacity. I don't need to know how to do this. With this, I would recommend you put your, all of your audio that you get from the MP3 into mono because the stereo will actually it'll make it a bigger file take a lot longer to load so and it doesn't really matter if it's mono or stereo because uh, I don't you don't have two different sounds playing just, it's just one so you're just gonna hit record or you drag and drop after you get your YouTube video so with how this website works is you go to your YouTube and you find a video that you like and to get the audio from it just paste it in here uh sure we'll do that one just to show you how to work how it works you're gonna click download um i'll show you about <laughs> this is the kids one that i like the most it's this little kid he gives a speech and it's kind of funny he played it half and okay usually there's like this giant button here but uh just click get your download link uh, start downloading and then you'll click download mp3 and that's it it's super straightforward you get it and usually it should be in your downloads um, or you can I'm pretty sure it is in your downloads it has to be or you could route it into music like I guess I did so that's what I did and once you've done that you're gonna drag it and then drop it into audacity you're gonna, I'll just record something like hey what's going on guys and then you want to press Control A. You'll select it all. I suppose if you want to highlight the entire thing, it's kind of dumb though. Just Control A, look like a professional. It hit Effect and change speed. Right and change pitch, which is right under bass, bass and treble, auto duck. You know, it's not too far from the top. Change speed. Now, like I said, CSGO it plays it twice as fast because they updated it and like the HLDJ plays it at this certain speed. So you need to kind of compensate and, you know, half the speed. So it sounds normal. It's not like super fast and high pitch. So, and it's only high pitch because it goes super fast. You hit 50, and what you're going to do is file, export, save it where you have your audio, make sure it's MP3. Like I said, it's going to ask you to download this, um, this different add-on for Audacity that... May, that allows you to change it into allows you to export into mp3 I'm not gonna hit save because I already have something I want to play for you and that's it you know you don't have that you're gonna go into HLDJ so you've d uploaded all of your audio into that same into the place you're gonna hit play it's gonna go and once you're done you're gonna hit play here and you wait for counter strike to load up All right, now that Counter Strike's loaded up, you're gonna need to do one more thing in the console, which is bind your end key to actually play the audio. I don't know why it doesn't do that for you automatically. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's bind space quotation marks N for me or for you it could be whatever key you did. Um, like if it's F5, you do F then five. You don't press the F5 key. You press N and then you do quote space quote. HLDJ underscore play audio oh. audio bam and enter so that binds your end key or whatever key to actually play the audio it doesn't do that for some reason I'm not going to go into a deathmatch just because you're going to listen to all these annoying people just be like shut up you're playing bad music or whatever it's really just an audio clip but we're gonna go into game. It's gonna take forever to connect to server. I would be careful using this. You'll get on some kid's bad side. Uh, typically, it is kids because the adult mature people will actually press the mute button that's in the game. So 
if you again if there's someone pl uh, playing some HLDJ don't kick them they're trying to have fun just mute them I mean typically every time I play it's for some fun reasons not to annoy people sometimes I do try to annoy people just because if they're being annoying that's the only way I could get them back without team killing or something but that's what I do but usually it's in face it like it doesn't matter so we started and how to use HLDJ you're gonna type in LA and that's gonna pop up all your songs and if you have run to a problem where you're type where you're getting like I wanna play yo right and I press LA again and for some reason like uh, the the kids keep practicing uh, what is it the kids keep practicing audio file keeps popping up even until I type in LA and it says I loaded yo um, what you want to do is actually hit the refresh button one it'll refresh it press LA again and then go with it again and then you type in your yo and it should load and you type it in again and there it is it's in your current like audio thing that's gonna play so once you do that you're pretty much good to press N yo what's going on guys right. so that's it you know I didn't say that uh, I could even play something like uh, what is my intro song I guess I don't have my intro song. Huh. I'll do this. Like seven. And you start playing the song. Oh. I pressed it and it didn't load. There you go. So, if it doesn't load and you press N, it should just op have your mic as open mic. And uh, that's how it do. So, like I said, you can play music. Uh, here. I have a bunch of, like, NCS songs. Just because if you ever try and, like, record something. You know, you don't have copyright music. I only have a couple of the songs, but I usually don't play them when I'm recording. So, you can play any songs. And, you know, that's just what I like to do. So, that's how you use HLDJ. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Play other songs, whatever. Uh, and it's really that easy to set up. So, I don't know how long this video was. Six or seven minutes. Whatever. See you guys in the good one. Oh, 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 oh,